Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's WV Running Dawn here. Now, I have, uh, I'm out here on my Saturday run. It's going to be a long run today, but Ethan decided since it was his last weekend with us before he goes off to college, he wanted to go out to eat. So, we took him out to eat today. He said he wanted to eat a lot of food before he <laughs> before he went to college. So uh, he decided on going to IHOP. So we went to IHOP with him, and that was earlier this afternoon. And now I'm uh, I let my food settle for a bit, and then he decided he wanted to power wash the house. So. He's power washing the house. I had to help him drag the hose out and get it connected and get the uh, get the uh, all the proper things connected to it. And now he's back there doing that, and I'm out here running. I'm switching my Saturday and Sunday runs, so I'm just doing four to five today and do the ten miles tomorrow. So let's go. I didn't realize the trail was so wet. I know I haven't been haven't been through here for a while. I've been running uptown a lot lately. But uh oh it's probably been since last week. Oh it's through here, but still. It's been a rainy week. <clears throat> Carry that into next week probably, I don't know, but it was pretty hot this past week with heat index close to 100 degrees with temperatures in the 90s yesterday it was 95 I think let's uh, send my well my four to five miles today is gonna be done on the trail and the uh, road so I'm gonna do my loop up to town and then back well, five, it's about 2.7 up to town and then back home on the uh, 2.7 on the trail and then back home on the road. So it's a little bit of elevation in today. Everybody knows Marshall who doesn't have very much elevation in their marathon, but it doesn't hurt to get some in. A little hard not to do it unless I stick to the trail the whole time on my training. But you gotta mix it up. Running hills makes you stronger. So that's what I'm gonna try. <sighs> okay, so I took Ethan shopping yesterday with a friend of his and we went to Walmart and Target. But uh I guess he didn't get everything that he uh, needed yesterday so we took a belt back to Walmart today and he wanted to look at some more stuff so we got some more stuff today he still says there's things that he needs but he'll just wait and get them at school he's gonna be there tomorrow or he's gonna be there on Monday but the uh, uh, class doesn't start for another week and they're going to do some things for the incoming class uh, next week so that uh, you know some welcoming things welcome the freshman class that kind of stuff they're going to do that at Marshall University for the incoming freshmen and they have a student center and they can go in and buy stuff from there so uh, so he'll be able to finish up whatever he thinks he needs but um, you got stuff like blankets, you got a blanket, uh, towels, sheets, that kind of stuff. They have their dorm bed that has like a, just a basic, uh, what he said, it's a, it's a extra large twin size uh, mattress or whatever they call it. it Look more like a, like a foam covering type thing for the bed or as a bed and then 
he has to get stuff to cover that but I think he did pretty good getting his things it's uh, it's coming out of a, a savings account that that we set up for him years ago we put money away for him for college and we did that for the other kids too so everybody all the kids have their own account and uh, we make that money available to them whenever they decide after they graduate from high school whatever they decide to do that's what the money's for so we gave money to Chelsea we gave her account Sammy has her account Dexter has hers and now Ethan has his account available to him so I made it up here to town I'm at the point where I'm going to run up the hill up 250 back to the house and uh, I think I'm at two point something miles 2.7 now so by the time I get back to the house, I should have close to five, if not five, and just a little bit under five. It's at least, yeah, it's at least two miles. So I'll have pretty close to five miles. But we'll see. I'll stop whenever I get to the end of the road so I can walk it in. So let's get this finished. <laughs> Well, 56 and a half minutes for that five miles. Since Monday is moving day, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of a little bit of footage that day. Uh, Ethan's not big on me recording, but as long as I don't get him in, I think he'll be fine. He'll be okay with it. Uh, but as for tomorrow, it's time to get him packing. Hopefully we get to load up the car. We'll get the car loaded up tomorrow and be ready to go, get up early Monday, and then head out. Uh, now today's run, I was up at the, I went on the uh, trail. Like you saw it was wet, muddy, a lot of water. And taking the, uh, the road back was pretty good. I went up the hill without stopping and ran down the other side. I stopped when I got to the top. I stopped, rested for, I don't know, walked about 30 seconds, and then uh, ran down the other side the entire way until I stopped back here at five miles. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, satisfied with being able to run up the hill still. Uh, when I first started running, that was kind of like a, like a fitness goal or, or tracker of mine if I could get to the top of that hill without stopping, it may be happy, which it still does. I like making it to the top of that hill without stopping. Uh, but uh, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you, hope you enjoyed it. The run on the trail and the run on the road. And um, if you did, hit that like button. Drop me a comment. Let me know what's up with you. If you want to know more about the higher running marathon training plan, or the Marshall University Marathon, drop me a comment, ask me questions, whatever. Be sure to share the video if you think somebody would like to know more about those things. And uh, remember, it's a great day to go for a run, wherever you may be. But most of all, come back again so you can see me in the next one.